guys welcome back to my channel and today I've got for you a little bit of a different video this is going to be more of a talking video to coincide with my wedding inspiration series that I'll link down below so this year I'm getting married and based upon my planning over the last year I've gained a few tips and tricks and organisation and inspiration on how to plan my wedding. Now by no means am I a wedding planner or qualified in that area or subject but I just thought this would help some of you guys if you are getting married on how to plan with just a small budget or just to gain inspiration and how to be organised generally. So I have a few tips that I'm going to go through that I've listed that hopefully will help and inspire you when planning your own wedding. So tip number one is to budget. So set your budget, sort of a rough budget if you have no idea, just a round figure of what you think you'd like to spend on your wedding and then you can go from there. So tip two is subscribe to a wedding magazine. These are a great way of gaining inspiration and just help with guiding you along with planning your wedding. I've got a couple here. I'm actually subscribed to this wedding magazine one and this is um, a two monthly, so it comes every two months. And I just find this really useful just to look through for ideas and tips and tricks. And quite a few of them have a little planning part at the back. I'll just try and find it for you. And it's sort of a tick list of everything that you need to do for your wedding or you want to do. And this can also help you budget as well. But I find this really useful as a guideline to go by. So I'll pop a link down below to the wedding magazine and here you can see the planner and directory part and on the next page is the list of what to do when. Now this gives you a really thorough checklist of when to do everything, sort of six months to before, two to four months before, one to two months to go and I just find this really useful in just sort of sticking to this and ticking through everything. But these are just a, such a great way to gain inspiration and to keep as well. So I just build them up and then sort of put a post it in the bits that I like, the pages I like or that I'm inspired by and then I can go back to them at a later date. Tip number three, invest in a wedding planner book. Now these can range from really expensive to really affordable but there is so many out there and I've got this one from the bright side. This is a great little wedding planner. It's a great size to pop in your handbag and I think this was about $7.99 but it just covers all aspects of a wedding including the budget, the wedding guest list and you can just put your little touch on it. So I've just got like little mood boards I've stuck in but it's got like shoe notes, fitting dates so it covers absolutely everything, costs for anything, bridey. So I mean planning a wedding anyway can be daunting but it's all the little bits that are included in it that you just think, oh my God, I don't know where to start. And something like this can put everything into perspective and really help you plan and organize in a better way. Tip number four is to create a Pinterest, a wedding inspiration board. Now, the great thing about Pinterest is you can create secret boards if you don't want anyone to see it. And you can also create one with your partner so you can both pin to that same board and then again, everyone won't see it. And Pinterest is such a great inspiration place. I'll pop the link to mine down below and I have a wedding inspiration board. But it just helps you to create lots of different segmented boards. If you want one for your colour theme, one for your flowers, anything like that. And for me, Pinterest has been my saviour. It's just the most amazing inspiration hub and 
I have got most of my inspiration from Pinterest because you can just type in anything and everything and it will just bring out at, at, at least something anyway. But this is just great if you want to DIY anything or things like that. So just a really great way of gaining all your inspiration in one place and it's also free as well. Step five is to visit lots of wedding fairs and wedding shows. Now these are a great place to get loads of inspiration, ideas and also to get offers and maybe some discounts. They're great because they have everything under one roof and also you can speak to the exhibitors face to face. So with regards to a big wedding show, they're the ones at the exhibition centres. I'll pop a link to some down below as well. Do this with your mum, your bridesmaids, your mother-in-law and your partner as well. Just make it a really fun day out, not too serious. Do this as your first one. Grab lots of leaflets, make it really girly, have afternoon tea or something and just get some real inspiration and a real feel for wedding shows as a whole. Once you've had a feel for what a wedding show is like, then narrow it down to more the locally wedding fairs around your area and take your fiancé as well, just two of you. And these are great because you get to see a possible wedding venue that you might have your reception or your ceremony at. And also they're great because they have exhibitors again that sometimes are recommended by the hotel. So pick up loads of leaflets, check out what offers and discounts are on with regards to wedding packages. And then if you're there and you do really like the hotel, then book an appointment to go back and have a proper look. One thing I would say is keep your options open with regards to wedding venues. Now if you really don't like the look of the place I'd always say give it a chance because sometimes in pictures they don't always do them justice as going to see the actual venue itself. I know when we went, we went to about 10 wedding venues and I know that is a lot and it was exhausting but it really made us make up our minds and actually we went back to our first wedding venue we saw and picked that one in the end but it just confirmed in our minds that we really wanted that wedding venue and there was nothing else out there that was better for us. So really keep your options open and have a look around. With regards to picking up leaflets from all the shows, just pick up all of them, anything and everything they have there. It doesn't matter if you're not interest interested, just pick it up. And what me and my fiance like doing is bringing them all home and then just sitting there sort of on a Sunday night and really looking through them all and dividing them into piles of whether we maybe like that or we don't like that at all. And then we can go on their websites and things. So my last step and tip is my favorite of all. And this is because I like doing creative things and DIYs. So once you've established what kind of theme and color scheme you like, then a good thing to do is make a mood board of your overall wedding look. Now again, going back to Pinterest, pull off ideas that you like from there, pop them onto a Word document and then just print them all out and cut and stick them onto a mood board so you really get a feel of what you want your wedding to look like. And also these are a really great idea for when visiting say your florist, your venue, your photographer and things like that because it also gives them an overall feel of what your wedding's going to be like. And just print off anything. I mean, I've got invitation ideas, decor, bridesmaid dresses. Our colour scheme is mint green, navy and gold with a little bit of neutral cream and white added in. But this just really helped me pull it all together and also to visualise it. And it's great um, because my fiance, he couldn't really visualise the colour scheme together. So this was a great way of helping him understand that the colours go together and they look good together as well. So another one I've done here is just of, um, put it upside down, invitations. 
and this just helps us pick out what we like so I just did this full mood board here and then me and my partner both just picked out different bits that we like just popped a post it on them and then we came to a compromise together on what our invitations were going to look like so you can do the same for the flowers, the cake, the bridesmaid dresses, anything like that. But they're a really good idea of visualising your wedding. So guys, that concludes my wedding organisation and planning tips. I really hope you enjoyed this different kind of video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you are getting married and you do want some more tips, then let me know in the comments down below what kind of wedding video you would like to see next. If it's a DIY or another tips video, I will be sharing more as we get nearer to our wedding as well. And also on my blog, which I'll pop a link down below. And also don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration. And also check out my previous two videos by clicking on the links on the right. Have a great day guys and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!